Team Gerard, Anthony Peters, is a technical master fighting Dan the Upgrade Lazon Team Aggression. The day after Dan's 18th birthday, we expect great things from Dan Lazon. Here we go, Dan Lazon. Everyone in the audience is so pumped to see Dan in the white shorts by Anthony Peters in the yellow. Quite a coming out uh, fight for um, for Dan because Anthony Peters is an incredible test right here for Dan. Nice leg kick from Dan. Lead leg leg kick. Did you see how he's loaded up for that high kick? Nice right hand. Flying right hand. Dan's an exciting fighter. Very aggressive in the yellow shorts. Anthony Peters is not being faced. He looks like his presence in the ring. Look, Dan has clearly done his homework sparring with his older brother Joe. He's probably had a lot of street fights because he is not shy about mixing it up. Anthony Dan. is not shy about mixing up high-level grappling with active and dangerous punching. Dan's, uh, Dan has proven himself to be a phenom. Look at him looking around. He blows a kiss to a uh, girl in the audience. We don't know who. Some lucky girl received that. But you got to say, uh, why is he looking out of the audience? Uh, you know, we got to think maybe it's tough for him to get his focus with all the pressure on him in this first fight. Of course, it's not showing in his, in his fighting because his fighting is extraordinary as he's getting the upper hand against an experienced fighter, Anthony Peters. But I'd like to see Dan bring his focus into the fight, not worry about who's watching it, and just focus on the fight once at hand. Oh, big overhand right. Again, he's just a dominant striking from Dan, 18 years and one day. I think Dan is uh, made for the... Japanese rules, which is uh, kind of a contradiction in terms because they really don't have many rules in over in Japan uh, MMA. <laughs> and his older brother is looking ready for his fight while he's coaching his younger brother. Uh, that's, that's dedication. Nice spinning back kick. The kicks that I'm seeing out of Dan, which is what uh, Anthony Peters capitalized on to get the takedown, the kicks I'm seeing out of Dan are finishing kicks. They have bad intentions written all over the Look at his mobile hips. Oh, Dan has that body tap on the ground that is just so tough from the guard because he's long. He's so long that it's hard for you to hit him when you're in his guard. like he's still pumped up from it because I'm seeing really exciting combinations out of both of these fighters, but Dan is just, Dan is going to be, he's really a standout fighter already, he's going to be a star in the MMA world, and the left hot kick lands! Now it's so interesting how he, you know, he, he'll get a kick, he'll go in for the, uh, for the kill, oh, oh beautiful oh, one for the over plata position, I thought that only happened in practice! Yes, he is, as he as Dan could have finished that submission. Yeah, but dude, every time you move, you knock over a five different thing. What I saw out of Dan in the last five seconds of that round, I've never seen in an MMA fight. I've seen in practice, we drill that move, the roll to an Umaplata position. That was that was truly, truly beautiful jujitsu. Nice straight right hand. Oh, Dan. Confident and adept. <laughs> exactly, and it works. Nice lead leg. Yeah, he's being wise. You know, he's 
not going to try to brawl with Dan, but you know he he's uh, he's really holding his own against uh, an aggressive technical fighter in Dan. Oh look, Anthony's uh, got a little swelling on the left eye. They exchange kicks on the shin. Dan has the full warrior spirit. Nice. He lifts that right leg up as it's a, a flying right hand. Doesn't land, but he's an exciting fighter. Dan has a full warrior spirit, the Bushido warrior spirit, and that he, re he, he shows respect for his opponent by fighting all out. Then he knocks him down with a one, two, one, two, straight blast of punch. There's some monkey jujitsu as he climbs on his opponent, flattens him out, and shows a dominant display as he lands right hands to the ear and side of the jaw. Looks like he's trying to set up. Anthony Peters is so tough here. Oh, beautiful. He, he, Anthony Peters clamped down on Dan's right leg and forced Dan to abandon hey, you want to eat the, this uh, dollar up, dude. both of his hooks, uh, having had uh, Anthony's back. When you get up, all you see. When someone has his leg, he says, you know, I roll with my brother Joe Lazon, he's the best leg lock guy in the country. I'm not worried about this. Converts back to a dominant side mount position. Anthony's working a nice escape to, as he has his right knee in. So he's trying to regain half guard or get to his knees. Dan is overhooking the leg to keep his hips in control. He might go for a toe hold. He's going to go for a toe hold right here. Probably use it more as a distraction because I don't know if he can get a lot of leverage on it from this position. 